But on the ice, the Cougars happen to be taking on one of the best teams in Canada, the Kelowna Rockets. The Rockets took down the Cougars 7-2, though not much could dim the energy of an incredible night at the CN Centre. The Cats had another crack at the Rockets on Saturday, but no easy task against an established franchise like Kelowna. There's Tavin Grant in the pipes for the Cougars in his first WHL start. The Cats wearing pink in support of breast cancer research. In the first period, Cougars 2-on-1. David Soltes is able to get a couple whacks at it before beating Jackson Missile. one nothing. Prince George. The Rockets do respond here, though, on the man advantage. Power play, it's Tyson Bailey. He was so good in this whole series, he leans into a one-timer, nodding the game at one apiece short side there. Grant's going to make his best save of the period and game. Rockets come out of the corner, but he gets his paddle in a Justin Kirkland attempt from in close. Nice save there. Then Rourke Charche. He's going to outwork Mark McNulty, winning a foot race before going short side upstairs on Grant. Bar down. Nice shot. 2-1 Kelowna. Cougars are going to answer though. On a three on two, it's Brad Morrison. He takes the puck in the slot and goes five full on whistle. Again, giving the Cats some life, nodding the game. But it was all Rockets from there. Nick Merkley is going to pick off one shorthanded, go in all alone and make a pretty move, sliding it through the wickets on Grant. And then on the power play again, Bailey is going to find Mr. Chartier through the slot and he's going to make absolutely no mistake upstairs for two game now. Now in the second period, Cougars down three, Chris Schmidley. He chips it past Edmonds before tucking into a wide open cat's net as they run away with it. The Rockets win this one 8-2 and afterwards, Coach Hollick didn't mince words about his team's effort. We allowed 12 shots and the 12 or 13 shots give up four or five goals. I mean, in the first period, I mean, that's just, uh, that's unheard of. And uh, 50% or 60% save percentage of the Western Hockey League isn't going to cut it. And, uh, you know, we, we've got to be uh, better disciplined, but, uh, you're going to give up 25, 30, 32 shots a night, so you can't give up eight, nine goals on that. Obviously, we got uh, some work to do tomorrow and Monday and get ready here for Tuesday, but, uh, you know, the penalty kills and uh, goals against, I mean, that's a, it's a huge concern right now, and, and there's, uh, there's no ifs, uh, ands, or buts about it. we got to get to work.